At this hour, we continue to ask questions about the more than $2.3 million the city of Mobile won in an opioid settlement. We've been reporting the majority of that money continues to sit in an account. Our Natalie Williamson caught up with Lisa Teeger, the founder of a mobile based nonprofit, who says that money could be helping people to recover from addiction. The opioid crisis is still a growing concern, especially for people like Lisa Tegert, founder of Door to Serenity. Tegert has appeared before the Mobile City Council a total of three times, asking them to provide a copy of the $2.3 million settlement for the opioid funds that were received and how they are being used. It was promised to me within five days of my first appearance here, and I have not yet received it. She says she hopes some of that money will be given to recovery homes like Door to Serenity that assist people who struggle with addiction. According to Chief of Staff James Barber, a lot of settlement agreements are not public records. The $2.3 million comes from a settlement of a lawsuit that the city filed against the manufacturers of prescription painkillers blamed for triggering an addiction crisis. Mobile has made payments of $200,000 to Veterans Recovery and $10,000 to the Drug Education Council, but the majority of it still sits in a bank account. But during Tuesday's city council meeting, the council approved using another $154,000 of that settlement. This will go towards a contract with the Helios Alliance, a nonprofit aiming to address pressing health challenges to guide the city on the best way to utilize the settlement money. It's outlined in our contract, and it's about three principal areas. The first one will be, as the council members mentioned today, will be to come up with an RFP process. What our simulation modeling allows us to do is to predict which of those practices or combinations of those practices are most likely to be effective in Mobile. Once that process is in place, organizations like Tegert's will be able to apply for some of that settlement money. While Helios Alliance will provide recommendations to the council on the best way to spend the funds, it will still be up to the council on where the money will actually go. And we're talking about $2 million, so what do you I mean? You just divvy out a little bit to everybody. Is that the most effective means? I don't think so. So I think engaging this professional, you know, that, that can analyze the most effective use to fight the problem that is specifically outlined in the settlement agreement is. It's probably a wise step. Tegert says she is hopeful that the council will use the recommendations from Helios Alliance and disperse the money where it is needed. All I want is for these funds to go to the people who need it, people who suffer from substance use disorder, people who have the opioid addiction, people who are homeless, people who need treatment, people who need detox. This is where that money needs to go. According to Barber, there could be more settlement money coming in, but as of now, the city has not received any. Barber tells me that the RFPs will go out as soon as 30 days from now. We will continue to keep you updated on air and online as we get more information. In Mobile, Natalie Williamson, Fox 10 News.